in Yemen, the calls grow louder for an ICC investigation of dictator Ali Abdullah Saleh. The ICC, however, cannot investigate a country like Yemen that is not signed to the Rome Statute that forms the court unless a Security Council resolution calls for it. ICC officials say, however, that Saleh is still subject to numerous court actions in his own country and that he could be prosecuted in other ways. Richard Dicker of Human Rights Watch says that if the UN took any part in brokering a deal granting Saleh any kind of amnesty in return for his stepping down, it would be a grave disservice to Yemenis and to the world community. Essentially what it says to President Saleh and others, were this to become any kind of precedent, is kill as many as you can uh, in order to cling on to power. Uh, uh, and if you fail, not to worry, uh, uh, because you won't risk prosecution. The ICC officials say, however, that once a new government is set up in Yemen, the game could change and Saleh could possibly be indicted. So once, once we are able to convince Yemen to ratify or are able to have the new Yemen government under Article 12, three is a non-state party refer, ask the court to come in and investigate our Security Council uh, taking action. Elsewhere in Africa, preparations continue for the trial of Saif al-Islam Qaddafi, son of the former Libyan dictator, as well as Colonel Qaddafi's former intelligence chief. Where those trials will occur depends on a decision by ICC judges. New judges will be voted in next month at the UN, however, as will a new prosecutor. Hank Flynn, Press TV. New York.